These scientists have joined Italy's frontline battle against COVID-19, and they're in a race against time. Time is very, very short because we, we should be uh, effectively ready for, uh, in October for a possible re-emergence of the cases. Wastewater has become a key tool in tracing the virus. Testing by Italy's national health body, the ISS, found traces of COVID-19 in Turin and Milan in December last year, two months before the first clinical case in February. It provides a kind of archive. When it arrived, during and after, in time and space, it shows us the presence of the virus in Italy. Now the ISS is working to detect future hotspots. It started a pilot study of 15 sites in tourist areas. But we could also focus uh, the, the, the analysis and the test on special areas, so we, as an example, uh, airports, school, uh, hospitals. By October, the ISS will have a national testing system in place, which could prove crucial in identifying a possible second wave of infection. The national network will involve 100 cities with more than 60,000 residents. In that way, we could have a, a satellite on, uh, on the country for the early warning of the circulation of the virus in cities, uh, maybe before uh, the clinical cases. It allows us to give information quickly to the healthcare systems that can then take the measures to help contain the spread. Crucial work that could save lives. It's really a challenge. We, we are uh, a little bit afraid of this uh, charge, but we want to be uh, helpful for the country. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Rome.